Mm, mellow greetings, everybody. My name is James. I am from the internet. And we are just two weeks away from the amazingly awesome general election. And as we get there, I'm hearing more and more uh, the screams and cries from the right about uh, how horrible all the the vote cheating is. Oh, those damn Democrats, they're going to they're going to stuff ballot boxes and they're going to get millions of illegal immigrants to 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 vote illegally. And, and, you know, throw the election to Joe Biden's favor. And I hear this quite a lot because apparently the people on the right uh, would have you believe that they are the most patriotic and the ones who are the most American and the ones who love democracy and the American ideal of freedom the most. And, you know, the left, they're just they're just a bunch of commies. They, you know, they couldn't possibly care about stuff like that. So with two weeks before the election, uh, I thought we would take a look at uh, the very basic childhood concept of whoever smelt it, dealt it. And with that being said, let's take a look at uh, the voter fuckery that is currently going on in America, and you can tell me where it's coming from. Okay, here we go. Pennsylvania postal worker charged with dumping mail is QAnon follower. Dun, dun, dun. Well, surely this QAnon follower is on the left, right? Because that's, you know, again, people on the right wouldn't possibly fuck with U.S. democracy and the, and the freedoms and a sacred right to vote, right? That would never happen. Of course not. A uh, United States postal worker in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, charged with delaying or destroying mail, has been linked to QAnon conspiracy theories online. Uh, Sean Troche a city carrier who worked at the post office in Mount Oliver is one of two USPS workers accused of dumping undelivered mail by prosecutors. According to the criminal complaint, an allegation was made that a mail carrier was seen taking bags of mail from his vehicle and placing them into trash bags. The bags, which were recovered from the trash and in front of the suspect's house, contained 314 items of first-class mail, including a request for the delivery of a mail-in ballot, seven items of certified mail, one item of priority mail, and 1,311 political advertisements or similar items of campaign mail. So, so far, uh, it sounds like somebody is fucking with uh, the political advertisements the delivery of them and uh, people's request for mail-in ballots via the mail by this lovely, lovely patriotic American who, again, I am sure is a liberal communist because, of course, those are the only people who would fuck with the concept of American democracy and freedom and the sacred right to vote. Right? Right? After the Office of the Inspector General confirmed that the mail carrier was under investigation, Pittsburgh City Press obtained screenshots from a Facebook account believed to have belonged to him, which frequently pushed the baseless right-wing conspiracy QAnon. According to screenshots from the now-deleted account, Sean Troche posted cartoons implying that mainstream media is ignoring child trafficking and pedophilia in the United States and is instead focusing on staged race riots because of course. Of course they are. <laughs> One of the key beliefs of QAnon supporters is that President Donald Trump is waging a secret war against the deep state and high-profile Satan-worshipping pedophiles and cannibals. Of course, it turns out that not only is pedophilia a, a globally accelerating problem, but only people who register as Democratic voters actually ever get involved in it. It's crazy, right? I... How did I not know that every single person on the left was a pedophile and all the people on the right were merely hunting pedophiles? I, I, I don't know how this escaped my notice for decades, but apparently whew, right over my head. So, yeah, there you go. Imagine that. Uh, the account also shares a post from QAnon supporter Liz Crokin, who accuses satanic pedophiles such as Pat Oswalt and Chrissy Teigen of promoting pedophilia on Twitter and claiming that, quote, Pizzagate is real. And for those of you who have missed it before, Pizzagate is the conspiracy theory that Hillary Clinton and John Podesta are trafficking babies, uh, extracting their blood and penal gland juices, mixing them together to drink a blood cocktail. And all of this is done in the basement of a place called Comet Ping Pong Pizza in Washington, D.C., a building which 
has no basement. <sighs> the trust account also shared QAnon theories that furniture company Wayfair was advertising traffic children under the guise of selling expensive items, as well as expressing a number of anti-lockdown and quarantine sentiments amid the coronavirus outbreak. Surely, surely, this person was a liberal and a Joe Biden voter, right? 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 But wait, there's more. Let's, uh, I'm going to click the button. Hang on. Hang on. Let me, let me show you what else there is, okay? Miami officer facing discipline after wearing Trump mask while in uniform at polling place. Lovely. Miami officers facing disciplinary action after he was photographed wearing a Trump 2020 face mask while in uniform at a polling place. Photograph was shared on Tuesday by the chairman of the Miami-Dade Democrats, who accused the officer in a tweet of voter intimidation while inside the Stephen P. Clark Government Center in downtown Miami. The officer in the photo, wearing a name tag that read Ubida, but officials have not named him, and NBC News has not been able to independently verify his identity. Look! Wow, this uh, this looks like a fairly large-sized beard, armed with a gun, wearing a Trump 2020 mask inside a polling location. Apparently, this is totally fine. This is totally okay. Everybody's totally cool with this. Yeah, pish posh. Pish posh. What's the big deal? No, it's not intimidating at all, right? City of Miami mayor said the officer was in line to vote and he violated departmental policy by wearing political signage while in uniform. Mayor did not speak to whether across the line into voter intimidation, as Simonotis accused in his tweet. It's inappropriate and it's against department orders. Police officers are supposed to be impartial. So irrespective of who the person was, whatever the sign would have been, it would have been problematic. Hmm. Hmm. It's unclear whether he was on duty, but officers are permitted to vote while in uniform. They're also allowed to carry their department issue firearms while voting. The officer will be disciplined, but the mayor did not specify how, as the incident is still being investigated. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to guess that there's really not going to be anything that happens to him. So let's see. Uh, we have right wing nut jobs uh, throwing mail away. We have armed right-wing militants wearing uh, Trump 2020 masks on their face while they go into voting locations locked and loaded. What else could possibly be going on out there? Let's check. Election supervisor. Registered voters in Alachua County are facing voter intimidation. The Alachua County Supervisor of Election says registered voters are facing intimidation by an email claiming to be from the Proud Boys. The email's being sent to registered Democrats in Alachua County, insinuating that retaliation will be inflicted upon people who do not vote for President Trump. The message suggests the sender has gained access to the entire voting infrastructure and is using the obtained data to pick out registered Democrats. The sender tells the reader to switch their party affiliation to Republican in order to show compliance towards the sender's demands. The Alachua County Supervisor of Elections has issued a press release stating they're aware of the multiple instances of voter intimidation. The release also states that local, state, and federal levels of law enforcement, including the FBI and the Department of Homeland Security, are working in conjunction with the county to face the threat. The Elections Office said it would refer to any and all forms of voter intimidation to state and federal law enforcement. And uh, over here is the email that they sent. Info at officialproudboys.com is the email address. We're in possession of all your information, email, address, telephone, everything. You are currently registered as a Democrat, and we know this because we've gained access to the entire voting infrastructure. You will vote for Trump on Election Day, or we will come after you. Change your party affiliation to Republican to let us know you received our message, and we'll comply. We will know which candidate you voted for. I would take this seriously if I were you. So to confirm, the, uh, the people... Who, whose rallying cry is democracy and freedom and liberty and, and the people who are concerned about the dreaded Antifas and the lawlessness and the communism and the socialism. All those people who put out this great ideology of Trump is fighting all of this are apparently the ones who are engaging in voter intimidation and destroying requests for mail-in ballots. I have yet to find an article or a video or a story about how the dreaded Antifas are coming for your vote.
So if you happen to have a story about one of the dreaded Antifa super soldiers who are coming for your vote or are engaging in voter intimidation or are destroying requests for mail-in ballots, feel free to send them to me at the show email that didn't fucking happen at gmail.com and I will be more than happy to review whatever it is you send to us. Cool. Uh, last story. I caught this one. Now, technically, technically, because they haven't caught the person yet, they don't know if they are somebody from the right or the left, but I'm going to let you come to your own determination after we check it, check it out. Firefighters say someone purposely tossed burning newspapers into an official mail-in drop box. Fire intentionally set inside the ballot box in Baldwin Park. Uh, Baldwin Park is in California, by the way. You know, California, the, the place that that votes like plus 25 Democrat all the time. And thus, there would be no reason for anybody to destroy votes unless they were trying to destroy Democrat votes. Because two out of every three votes cast in the state of California are cast for a Democrat. Just saying. Investigators are searching for the person who set a fire inside a ballot drop box in Baldwin Park on purpose, potentially compromising dozens of votes. Incident happened around 8 p.m. Sunday near Baldwin Park and Ramona Boulevard in front of the city's public library. Firefighters say someone purposely tossed burning newspaper into the official drop box. One passerby told Eyewitness News the box looked like a chimney with smoke billowing out of it. Look, right on the box it says tampering with this ballot box is a felony. Meh, people didn't seem concerned, huh? You know, when you're engaging in vote destruction and voter suppression, I guess it really doesn't matter what the possible crime or charge is, huh? Because you're in it to win it. Arson investigators have not yet released information about how many ballots were destroyed. Uh, the mayor believes that there were close to 100 ballots in the box at the time of the incident that were burnt or wet. Quote, people are frustrated across the country. It's no different in Baldwin Park. The incident happened. It does send a very bad message, as it is the frustration with the voting box. And then this occurs. That's right. You're so unhappy with the fact that people can vote at boxes where they can drop in their, their official ballots that you then light the ballot box on fire. Something tells me you're not happy with the current system. So if you're unhappy with the fact that there are hundreds of ballot boxes all across the Democratic state of California, uh, which contain ballots, roughly two out of every three being for a Democrat, and you light that ballot box on fire, yes, I am going to assume that you are indeed a right-wing nut job. Please, tell me I'm wrong. You can use the email from that last little segment that I blurted out. Feel free, just send me those emails. Fire crews say they did their best to save as many ballots as possible. The ballots will be sent to the registrar's office. The incident comes at just over two weeks until Election Day. One voter said he's worried because he placed his ballot in the drop box a few weeks ago. Quote, it makes me very mad because I've never seen it. I've never seen this, said John Rios. I'm 80 years old. I've been voting since I was 19 and I've never seen something like this. Multiple voters were seen attempting to drop their ballots off at the location Monday morning. Officials have cordoned off the box with tape and placed a sign stating box out of order. So, just a reminder that uh, when you're when you're getting all the stories and you're, you're, you're hearing those weird comments from your crazy grandparents who watch way too much Fox News about how the liberals are trying to steal the election and they're trying to circumvent, you know, hundreds of years of, of voting. Uh, I just want to remind you that I have still yet to see a single story out there about a liberal, a Democrat, or God forbid, one of the dreaded commie Antifa soy boy super soldiers out there lighting Republican ballots on fire. Okay? Two weeks left, everybody. Keep your eye on the prize.